Hi again. I wanted to do a sequence on the things that we become addicted to when we're not dealing with our emotions. So when I look back on a certain time in my life when I was a student in London and how I would kind of have addictive behavior around shopping and food and it's happened in other times of my life as well. I kind of recently figured out. I mean, I knew it was something emotional, um, but I recently figured out that it had to do with feeling lonely, <laughs> which sounds so basic and simple. Um, and I think so true. And I think it, it doesn't mean that you generally feel lonely in your life. It can be a very specific moment in time or with regards to something very specific because, you know, you can be around lots of people and still feel very much alone. Mm. And I think there were certainly periods of time where I took on this pattern of consuming food, objects, clothes, or whatever, um, as a way to kind of fill that void. Mm. And I think that can happen with many things, you know, the daily coffee ritual that becomes like an addiction. I've gone through that too, and I'm not a coffee drinker, but I've had moments where you know, it's become really important to go get that coffee and, you know, have that cup in my hand. Um, and so I think, you know, ebbs and flows of life um, mean that we go through these moments of, of having situations that we're not addressing out in the open because we're kind of not so aware of them. And so we create these substitutes and then we get hooked on these substitutes. Um, so this is a sequence for when you feel like that's happening. Um, and I'm just gonna obviously insert my own experiences and my clients experiences here but as always feel free to just add in whatever is happening for you and to keep exploring you know very often these situations have more layers so if you do find that it's because you feel lonely or sad or whatever it is then tap on that you know in the next instance because remember the more specific you get with tapping the better results you're gonna have in a shorter amount of time so, even though I know my behavior can get a little addictive when I'm not feeling 100%, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I can get hooked on food or shopping or both, when I'm feeling a little lonely or a little down. I would like to love and accept myself and give myself a chance to recognize what's going on before I try to fill the void with stuff that doesn't really help. Even though sometimes when I feel alone or I feel down, I look for quick fixes that actually just make me feel guilty afterwards. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. I know there's something going on when it feels like the quick fix is something really specific. When a craving shows up and it's really specific. Like I need to eat something really crunchy. And I need it right now. Or I need to eat something really sweet. or when I need to do whatever it takes to get out of the house and buy that coffee. I wonder what it is I'm really feeling in those moments. I wonder if I'm feeling lonely or bored 
or if I feel overwhelmed and it's a way of escaping. I wonder if there's something I'm avoiding. Because I know that when I fall into this pattern, something's up. So I'd just like to give myself permission to look at this. To really just take a look at this. And see what's going on. And try and address the feelings underneath the behavior. Because the truth is the behavior doesn't feel that great. I feel guilty afterwards. I ate things I shouldn't have. Or spent money I shouldn't have spent. Because it doesn't come from a place of flow and balance. So I wonder if I can take a closer look and try and see what it is that I need in those moments. What needs are not being met? And how can I meet them? And whatever it is that I may be feeling, I accept it. And I accept that it's uncomfortable. And that maybe I'm running away from that discomfort. But I wonder if it may be a relief to face it. All these feelings, this behavior that I engage in, Accepting it all and loving myself and giving myself permission to look into this. So again, you know, baby steps. Um, it's fucking uncomfortable. That's why it seems like a good idea to drown it out. Bag of chips or booze for some people or whatever it is. The certainty of what that chocolate is going to feel like in your mouth and taste like uh, is a breath of fresh air in a world filled with uncertainty and problems, sure. But in the end, we engage in vicious cycles that don't feel good. And then we feel guilty. And it's just this thing that's eating at you. So just a baby step in the direction of accept what you feel, accept what you've done. But let's take a closer look and see if we can actually work on the underlying problem. Because something's up when you engage in behavior like that. As always, thanks for watching.